I am Anil Kumar. Now let us learn how to factor expressions with radicals. We have two examples to understand this strategy. A. Square root of x to the power of 5 minus square root of x. And B is square root of x cube plus 2 times square root of x minus 8 over square root x. Now the idea is to get quadratic form to factor. So that is the key. Let's see how. So let's do part A first. We could write this expression as x to the power of 5 over 2 minus x to the power of half, right? Now x to the power of half is lower so we could factor this. So we could write this as x to the power of half and within brackets, we get x to the power of 5 over 2 divided by this, that is to say, 5 over 2 minus half. Correct? Here, we get minus x to the power of half minus half. Now, I could have written it directly since we have taken the whole number outside. But here is to show you a method. That's the whole idea. So what we get here is x to the power of half. And 5 over 2 minus half is 4 over 2. So 4 over 2 is x squared. And this is x to the power of 0, which is 1. Correct? So now we can write it back into the radical form, which is square root of x. And this is difference of squares. We go write this as x plus 1 times x minus 1. Do you see that? So that is how you would actually factor such expressions. Now let's apply this learning and factor the next one. Here we will multiply everything by square root x, 1 over square root x. Okay, but let's write them in the exponent form first. So we get x to the power of 3 over 2 plus 2 times x to the power of half minus 8 times x to the power of minus half since this was in the denominator. So we can take x to the power of minus half common and here we get x to the power of 3 by 2 minus minus half. Do you get the idea? So it gets added up and then we get plus 2 x to the power of half minus minus half minus 8 since we have taken this factor common correct okay so here we have x to the power of minus half really means 1 over square root x now it becomes simpler to do the exponents with the rules and therefore we prefer to convert them to the exponential form right so here half is added to 3 by 2 so we get x to the power of 4 over 2, which is x squared. 2. x to the power of half minus and minus becomes plus, so it is x. And here we have minus 8. Now this becomes the quadratic trinomial, which now we can easily factor using sum and product. We are looking for two numbers whose product is minus 8 and sum is 2. So the numbers are 4 and 2. So we could write this as x plus 4 times x minus 2. Perfect. So we get the factored form which is 1 over square root x times x plus 4 times x minus 2. Now these operations which I have just performed are very important for students taking higher level mathematics and especially calculus. I hope you find them interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.